Hey everyone, Josh here, Wargaming Noob Historical, back with another hobby vlog. This time around, it's talking about the project list for February 2024. I haven't done one of these in a while. In fact, I've fallen off the wagon and have not my held myself to account, but I'm hoping, starting in February, that I'll be able to make um, progress on all the projects that I have listed here. Obviously, this is a living document and changes from month to month based on what uh, I've been able to work on or what I'd like to change course towards. Uh, but again, uh, you know, this is just a guide to keep me honest in the stuff that I'm working on for the channel. So in any case, uh, project list February 2024 law. This is carryover from the last time I did this which was back in November. Oh, and before I move any further, this is a talking head video. Uh, obviously not going to have a lot of um, miniatures or anything on here. This is just talking about the project list. If this is not your bag, I get it. Uh, feel free to skip. But for those of you who are interested in what's going to be happening um, for the channel in the near future, then this is the video for you. All right, back to the list. Hail Caesar is definitely going to be something that I want to... Um, start on the channel uh, more seriously. Uh, in red, as you can see, is the Lord of the Rings Middle-Earth Strategy Battle Game Conversion again. I talked about this back in November. I'm going to take the Middle-Earth Strategy Battle Game figures that I have and convert them to multi-base in order to use them for Hail Caesar because I'd like to recreate some of the larger um, battles for uh, Middle-Earth, and I really like the Hail Caesar system, um, so I'm going to use that as the basis for this conversion. Uh, I'm going to continue working on my Hundred Years War Lancastrian phase um, figures and hopefully get something done. I have most of, a, of the English division done. I really don't have a lot of the French done. Again, um, it's just based on what I'm what I feel like I'm going to work on, uh, but I'm keeping this on the list because that's something that I want to continue to do. Moving on to Pike and Shot, I've delayed English Civil War, which is just completing the two-player starter. I don't really have any interest or time in doing that. Uh, I do, however, uh, have interest in exploring the Burgundian Wars. Uh, and again, the period for the Burgundian Wars is kind of a strange one because it is late medieval, early Pike and Shot. So this... Um, this project can either go into Hail Caesar or Pike and Shot, and I'm going to choose to do Pike and Shot uh, since I don't have any major projects in that game system. Uh, again, because they all play similar, it would be an easy conversion to bring the Burgundian Wars into late medieval war, which would be Hail Caesar. So um, I haven't purchased anything other than the artillery piece, uh, so I'm looking to uh, get some of the War of the Roses and uh, mercenary sets in order to build out um, the two forces I'm working on. One a Burgundian force, uh, the other a Swiss Duchy of Lorraine um, force. So hopefully we'll get that uh, squared away soon and started. Uh, again, uh, both this, the Burgundian Wars, and the Lord of the Rings um, conversion are long-term projects. I don't expect that I will have any um, battle reports for these uh, soon, but we'll see how that goes. All right, moving on to Black Powder. Uh, I'm going to start working on the 2nd Brigade for my Russians. Uh, I would like to start a French Peninsular Division uh, using the Perry 1807-1814 Battalion uh, box that I have and then the Vive l'Empereur Battalion. Um, so that would be two um, parts of a, a brigade there and then I would have to add something else. Um, I would like to use the Portuguese Line Battalion's kit that I have, um, purchase a Peninsular British Battalion and a Cavalry uh, Regiment um, and then go from there. In fact, for the British, Portuguese, Spanish force, I think I will get the Over the Hills uh, kit because that will complement the Vive l'Empereur uh, kit uh, quite well. So, moving on to bolt action. Bolt action will be the uh, big one for this year. Uh, I am uh, feeling more confident as I film more and more reports that I can um, give you guys quality content in bolt action. I am delaying the Crete campaign. I just don't have time 
to work on that right now. Um, in terms of reporting or battle reports, I'm going to be concentrating again on um, like the the Normandy um, campaign as well as the North African campaign. I uh, have uh, painted forces for that, so it makes it a lot easier uh, to film with fully painted forces. I may start expanding and adding more um, figures and uh, vehicle kits to both of those uh, campaigns. Uh, but one that I really want to work on is the Pacific campaign. I've had the Island Assault box sitting um, in my pile of shame for quite some time. I've actually completed uh, the uh, Japanese uh, weapons team, so I should actually mark this complete. I'd like to start working on the Marine weapons team and that will kind of seg into me being able to create smaller forces for both the Japanese and the US Marines in order to get them ready for a bolt action firefight after which I'll build up my forces and get into a five point game of, um, of the Pacific so that's what I'm planning to do in the next month or so well I, I'm planning to build up the, the forces for a firefight in uh, February, and then hopefully film uh, Firefight uh, Pacific report for early March, or maybe even late February, depending on how fast I can get these figures painted. So, uh, bold action is definitely going to be uh, my bread and butter uh, for the year. I'd like to um, get better at playing the game and then provide better content for you guys in terms of that system. If you've noticed, my whole list is Warlord. So uh, that said, I will be concentrating mostly on Warlord uh, game systems uh, with the with the emphasis on these four games: Hail Caesar, Pike and Shot, Black Powder and bolt action. The nice thing is Hail Caesar, Pike and Shot, and Black Powder are from the same rules bones so that means it, that uh, switching games, switching game systems is not going to be too harsh. Rules are very similar uh, with some tweaks for for each specific period. Bolt action obviously is a different beast. Uh, that said, what I didn't add here is Conflict 47. Uh, again, Bolt Action and Conflict 47 share the same bone, so I will be playing uh, more Bolt Action and more Conflict 47. I've already filmed a firefight, which should be dropping uh, this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so this is my project list for February. I'm probably going to be tweaking this, and we'll do an update on, on my progress once we get into February. Um, but that's pretty much it. So anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new project lists and hobby vlog coming out of the channel. Click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I could personally interact with you. To chat to you about Warlord games and all other game systems. And any other game or miniature line that I cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more hobby vlog from Wargaming News Historical.